Welcome to the Esper SDK for Python tutorial. Today, let's walk through an example of how companies can use the Esper SDK for Python to easily apply custom settings to a large fleet of devices. As prerequisites, we'll need access to our Esper endpoint, Visual Studio to write and compile our script, and Python's latest edition, where we'll download our Python SDK via command prompt. Imagine we have a number of devices spread across a region. Let's suppose we have 100 devices in California, 75 devices in Oregon, and 75 devices in Washington State. These devices are kiosks that run our company's application. The app might include a product search with aisle maps to help customers find products, as well as advertisements that run along the side of the screen. In this example, let's assume these devices are operating for 12 hours a day, 7 days a week. Given the amount of cached search data that gets accumulated after a day of operation, we would want to reboot our kiosks every morning at 5.30 a.m. to ensure our app is running in a fresh state with no lagging memory. Rather than someone rebooting the kiosk manually, we can use the Esper SDK for Python to send an automated API command across all of our Northwest devices. To start, let's look at our device group breakdown. We'll open our endpoint and navigate to the Devices and Groups tab. Under the All Devices group, notice our regional subgroups. California with 100 devices, Oregon with 75 devices, and Washington State, again, with 75 devices. In order to fire a command to all 250 devices, we'll need to grab some key data to add to our code. Specifically, we'll need our endpoint name, our enterprise ID, and an API key. Off-screen, we'll make a note of these data, which we'll add to our code shortly. Let's start by grabbing our endpoint name, which is this portion of the URL between the HTTPS and the .esper. Now, let's navigate to API Key Management and copy the enterprise ID in the top right corner. Next, we'll need to generate our API key. Click Create Key. We'll name it Python SDK. Click Create Key. Click Generate Token. And copy that token. As a quick reminder, we'll need to download the Esper Python SDK to our computer using Command Prompt. So open Command Prompt and type pip install Esper client. And voila! The Esper client is now ready to receive Python commands. Now for the fun part. We'll go to Visual Studio and showcase our code. A file will be made available in the video description with this code if you would like to try it yourself. This Python script will target the 250 devices in our three groups and add a daily reboot schedule for 5.30 a.m. Notice the group section here. Our code will apply the reboot to all devices within these groups. Now, let's enter our data we collected from the console. First, our endpoint name. Next, our API key. And lastly, our enterprise ID. Now, let's run and debug. Going back to the console, let's confirm this command was successful. Click Devices and Groups. Click the Information button. And here we see a confirmation message of the three reboot actions. We can also check for confirmation by clicking the View Details button on a specific group. Click the Information button to see the command queued for this specific group. As we have seen by our confirmation of the code, our 250 devices across the Northwest now have an automated reboot scheduled every day at 5.30 a.m. This is just one way the Esper Python SDK allows your IT management team to customize and rapidly scale your device needs across massive device fleets at the click of a button.